joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining me from. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Accept my greeting according to your time zone. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You can be among the first to receive it. Then go to the comment section at all time. Leave your comment, drop your contribution. If you have suggestions, make it out there. If you have any criticism, put it down on the comment section. It will make us to get better. Presenting you a better program. Thank you. So you are a fool. If you think that anything you are doing for Biafra, you are doing for my Simon Epa, you are a fool. If you think that every sacrifice you are making for Biafra, you are making for someone else, you are a fool. Whatever sacrifice you make in this struggle of Biafra, you are doing it for yourself, for your generation unborn. If you do good, you do yourself. You do bad, you do yourself. Until you begin to see things in that way, you will always get yourself into trouble and you get yourself bumped. Because at this moment that we're in, the only people standing today are those who are called from their mother's womb. Those people that Mazen Nan they cannot pray for and continue to pray for, even while he is in detention, he is still praying for you and I. The only people standing today are the people that Mazen Nan they cannot pray for. Just the way Christ prayed for Peter. Christ prayed for Peter beforehand. That was why Peter survived, even after denying Christ three times. He denied Christ three times, yet he survived. Yet he became the pillar of Christianity. In the same way today, I was with the man that can have prayed for you and I in advance. When he was praying, the prayer I said there, maybe one of these, I'm going to pray that prayer. Where he prayed and said that Chukwu Kagame should give him, bring those who we are born for this mission. Those who we are ordained from the mother's womb to fight for the resurrection of Biafra. That prayer has been answered. And the people you are seeing today in the autopilot, the people you are seeing today in Biafra Republic of in Exile, our Prime Minister and every member of the cabinet you are seeing, these are people who are born for this mission. That is why you see them, they are not hiding. They put everything on the line and face the consequence. No matter the distraction, no matter the obstruction, no matter the delay, distraction, they are still focused and they are doing what they are supposed to do. They are not shaken. With all the distraction, propaganda and blackmail, they are waxing strong. The only people standing today, they are the people born for this mission. Every other person who have come there because of their personal interest, because they want to be known for financial gain, for wanting or the other, every one of them have fallen aside. They have disappeared. They have disappeared. Those few of them that are remaining today, they are not focused. They are busy attacking those who are working for the right cause. But I can tell you today, the struggle of Biafra, the restoration of Biafra has been defined. The restoration of Biafra has been defined. It is not like when you are asking, show you your roadmap, show you roadmap, show you roadmap. Today, nobody is asking for show him or her roadmap. The roadmap that our Prime Minister is following is very clear and open. He doesn't hide it. Very clear and open. If you are following him on Twitter, if you are following our Prime Minister on Twitter, you will be seeing details on daily basis, updates on daily basis update on daily basis in his last broadcast he talks about a letter he's going to submit to 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 finish government the president of finland he's going to submit a letter of president of finland and the former president of finland making the case of biafra a front line in finland in the same manner he has conducted so many diplomatic bodies he has made so many diplomatic moves and continue to make and he's not the one who says he's doing it on the ground. He will do it and he'll come out and tell you that I did this. Just like the meeting he's going to hold in Finland with the Finnish president and the, the, the submission he's going to make there, he announced it. He will announce it. He will send the information and he will show you what I said. Look at what I sent. Every letter he has sent, both to the United Nations, both to the EU, both to the EU, both to the uh, African Union, he gives you a copy of it and you will see it. It cannot be denied. We have passed the stage of propaganda and blackmail where you will tell us you are working on the ground. They are not for underground. 
even if you have to do something on the ground, you come out and tell us how far you have gone. Let us see the result outside. How long are you? Are we going to remain on the ground? That is why today the Biafran people are standing 100% behind him. Biafran people, the only ones who are still doubting are the ignorant ones, are those who are not informed. Because you know, in Biafra land, so many people are not getting the information. And that is why we are coming online on a daily basis to make sure we reach out to as many people as we can be able to reach out. That is why we beg you to share. Share in all the WhatsApp group you belong. If you have any WhatsApp group where you belong, you share the program on the WhatsApp group. It will help people to get information and know what is going on. The stage we are today is in the stage of restoration. It is not, it's no longer that time of blackmail. Not the time of propaganda or... No, we are in the time of restoration. And many things that are doing today is face me and face you. Face to face. Reality show. That is what we are doing today. Diplomatic discussion. Diplomatic moves on different angles, on different places. We hear of them. We see them. We see the moves. How he makes the moves. He brings the feedback. It is not just that he just claimed he said it. Our Prime Minister is not like those who are hiding behind keyboard and they will be typing and telling you that they are this and they are that. We are living in reality today. Biafra is no longer something that is hidden. We are living the reality of Biafra. The new dimension, the reality of Biafra has been unfolded. You can see it before your own very eyes. People talk and defend themselves as Biafran, talk about themselves as Biafrans. The Biafra Republic government in exile, waxing strong. Our offices are opening in all the parts of the world. Industries are being opened in all parts of the world. Our headquarters in, 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 in US is going on to be opened very, very soon. Very soon be opened. When that issue of the headquarters in the United States came out, he saw some people who took it as, a, as their own duty. And they were trying to, they were trying to, I, I can't just understand what they were trying to do. When the issue was mentioned, some of them begin to peddle different kinds of lies, begin to say different kinds of discourage people, or just to demonize Mazi Samuel Nebra, or just to prove what I don't know. But in all that they have said and talked and talked and talked, today, finally, there is still progress in the United States. Our office is about to be opened. Things are going on. I posted on my page here the improvements and the development I had made in that very place, and how the offices and everything have been put in place. And very soon it will be unveiled. And I hope that those people who attack that very office at very fine will come back and say, yes, that they made a mistake. Of course they will not. They won't. But they will be bold. They will be open and strong to come out and challenge and talk against it. They came and they spoke against it. They spoke against it. They spoke against it. They say all manner of things against that very move. That it was false. It was a lie. I don't know what they are trying to prove. But what of now that it has been proved beyond that it is actually existed? Now that it has been proven beyond that it, that it actually existed, why are they not coming out again to say that they were sorry? They wouldn't. That's the heart of men. Now they change their direction and begin to look for something else to say. You cannot find the truth. It is only the truth that can stand the test of time. The more you find the truth, the more you destroy yourself. The more you find the truth, the more you bring destruction upon yourself. And how long will you survive that fight against the truth? Fighting against truth is fighting against Chukwoku Gabema. Chukwoku Gabema himself is the truth. It's the truth. That is why once you are standing on the truth, you don't need to worry yourself. You don't need to bother yourself with what people are doing and what they are saying. When you are standing on the truth, people will be looking at you as if you did you did some some incantation, you did some charm. No. There is no charm stronger than truthfulness. There is no charm that is stronger than being truthful. If you are truthful, you don't need to visit a native doctor. If you are sincere and truthful, you don't need to visit a native doctor. People will even be working on your own behalf. All those native doctors, you don't need to visit them. The native doctors will be working for you. If you are sincere and truthful, Chukwu Okokabema will use people to fight your battle without your own knowledge. You will only be seeing results. 
you will see results. As long as you are truthful. But when you are not truthful, failure is your portion. No matter how smart you think you are, no matter how educated you think you are, no matter how as soon as it happens that you are not truthful, you can't be able to make headways. Never. You cannot. But when you embrace the truth, of course, when you embrace the truth, you will equally, you will always make it. You would even know. It will be like miracle. It will be success all through. There will be challenges. Nobody says there will be challenges. There will be challenges. There will be challenges. But in all those challenges, you are going to come out victorious. That is why we have to prepare. As our Supreme Damazin Nandekano is coming tomorrow, we know already Damazin Nandekano has no case. He has won his case. What we are asking is that he should be let go. Let him walk home. We are hoping and believing about tomorrow. Mazin Nandekano will be allowed to go home. Mazin Nandekano should be allowed to go home. That is the only thing we are holding. I'm not talking, for me, I'm not talking about any case tomorrow. I'm not looking at the out in tomorrow as I said, I go into case. No. The case of Mazin Nanikan have ended. Coming out tomorrow is to let Mazin Nanikan go home. And that is why we impact on that very civil subject. To make it clear to the whole world that an innocent man, a prisoner of conscience, is still on detention, even after he has been granted freedom by the same court of the enemy. They continue to hold him. And we have made our voice heard. The whole world have seen it. The zoo themselves have seen it. That we are standing 101% behind Mazen Land. They can come sun, come rain. No matter what they do, we are not part of any political nonsense they are talking about. What we want is the freedom of the Biafran people. What we want is the release of our Supreme Mazen Land. They can unconditional release of Mazen Land. They can. They have held him enough. And if they refuse tomorrow, Shukuoku Kaibiyama knows how to deal with them. They are going to face what they have never seen before. If they refuse to let Mazin Nanakano go tomorrow, they are going to see another side of the Biafran people. And every one of us have to prepare ourselves. As I have said before, it is no longer the time to say who gives order and who doesn't give order. Today we know who has inspiration. Since Chukwu Kukabion has given our Prime Minister that inspiration to always say the right thing at the right time, we have to key in into it and obey it whenever it's strong come. It doesn't matter whether you like him or you don't like him. Whether you obey him or you, whether you follow him or you don't follow him. It doesn't matter where you belong or who you listen to. This is about our Supreme Amazon Nandekano. This is about the freedom of the Biafran people. Your own freedom, my own freedom. Any suggestion that is being made to free Mazen Nandekano or to free Biafra must be supported by every meaningful Biafra. It must be supported. And I bet you, very soon, all these obedient idiots and all these all this one Nigerianists and the politicians, they will fall in line. Those of them that still have the ball, because some of them have committed so much crime that shame will not even allow them to fall back. Some of them are being held by shame. But I will advise them to overcome their shame and have a new, turn a new leaf. If you are a politician, you are a one Nigerianist, wherever you place yourself, turn your new leaf. Remove that pride and shame. Turn a new leaf and begin to support Biafra. Because that is the only hope. For every one of us, whether you are a politician, whether you call yourself a one Nigerianist, whatever you name yourself, they know you as a Biafra. If you like, write one Nigeria in your forehead, they know you as a Biafra. If you like, carry one Nigeria in your forehead, use it and so close and continue to walk about. They are going to tell you to your face, man, you are a Biafra. And that is what exactly what they are doing to the politicians today. Including the idiot called himself Dave Mahi. These are people who supposedly claim to be educated. But their fraud, their criminality have made their eyes 
close that they cannot be able to understand differentiate between good and evil they have been they have gone deep deep into evil to the extent that they can no longer differentiate between good and evil if not they are supposed to know that these people treat every one of us the same way it doesn't matter that very moment you prescribed IPOB, that was when you gave them the authority over you. From the moment the politicians came together, and the honest people, they came together and proscribed themselves. That was when they lost every legitimacy. That is when they lost respect. Everywhere, right, left, and center. They lost respect. The zoo does not respect them. They don't have respect from their own children. The world does not respect them anymore. No authority respects them. And that is why you see they are tossing them from pillar to pole. Today you look at them crying online. Ojo Zokal is crying to the other side. Uh, what is that? Uh, Andy Obai is crying to the other side. Dave Umahi is crying to the other side. Lucha Sukrocha is crying to the other side. Every one of them. Some of them have disappeared completely without any sound anymore. The Premado is crying in, in London. You see how they scattered them? You see how they disturbed them? Today, there is no single voice, no single voice, political voice from Biafra land. No single political voice from Biafra land, not even, not even half. Not even half. And you are still there calling yourself a one Nigerianist. You are still there hoping that it's going to be better. You have seen their cabinet. You have seen the cabinet of the new government that is coming in. You saw it. They are not hiding it. The cabinet is there. They open before everybody. In case you have not seen it, go and look at the cabinet they are forming. Look at the appointments they are giving. Already, the drug baron, who they want to make a president, have already showed you what, how he's going to treat you. The case of late Muhammad Buhari was even better. The late Muhammad Buhari, he waited to go into power. Once he was inaugurated, he began to say he's not going to treat people who gave him 5% and don't give him 75%. But in this one, he has not been inaugurated already, but he has started showing you already what he's going to do. Not just showing you, he has started doing what he wants to do against you. That was why when he told you that he was going to continue from where Buhari stopped, and you'll be wondering. He want to continue from where Buhari stopped. He want to continue. And to show you how idiotic all these politicians are, the person who was complaining about it, who said, who, who was saying in one of, in live video, that how can a human being say he wants to come and continue the legacy of Buhari? That is only a fool that can come out and say that he wants to continue pursuing the legacy of Buhari. But that same person who said that word, Mwike, today, Mwike is supporting the same legacy of Buhari. Mwike, who made that statement, Big Mouth Mwike, who made that statement today, he is still, he's supporting the legacy of Buhari. He was one of the people who rigged the vote for the, rigged, for, rigged them in. He was one of the person who made it possible for Tunubu to succeed. At the same time, this is what President an idiot who was opening his mouth to talk from both sides of his mouth. That is how untrustworthy these people are. You can't trust any politician in that Zulka Republic. You can never trust any one of them, regardless who they are, regardless their tribe, their nationality, their religion. You, as long as someone comes out and identify as a politician, run away for your life. Run away. Politicians of all level, from your local government to presidency, if you have anybody there, run for your life. These are a bunch of criminals who have already made up their mind to continue to cause mayhem and havoc in the life of the people. They have chosen their path, and they can't. The moment you call yourself a politician in, their, in that very contraption, the moment you pronounce yourself a politician, you have sold your soul. You have told yourself. Look at some of them who we are talking before. Who we are talking about Mazin and Nekane. Only for us to realize that we are just saying that because of their ambition. 
They were only mentioning Mazin Nandekano because of their selfish ambition that they had. They thought that they were going to use Mazin Nandekano to win the heart of the Biafrans and after that, they do what they want to do. Today, they are trying the governorship. After they have lost governorship, have you heard them speaking anywhere? Did you hear them talk anymore? They disappeared. They disappeared. It seems as if they don't exist anymore. But these are people who were making noise right, left, and center. Wherever you go, they make noise. They use Mazen Nanekano's name and case to gather viewers and crowd for themselves. They use Mazen Nanekano's case to bring sympathy to themselves. And they thought that that is all it takes. That's why I tell their friends, you do not believe people because they mention Mazen Nanekano.